Okay, we're going to get into some science today. We've got two VBWRXs here. Uh, this one is a 4,000 mile solar orange pearl car. I bought this in January for 700 under MSRP. It was a great deal at the time, but the color is ugly and it did not grow on me. And coming into March, they're pretty much available at invoice. So I bought a Sapphire Blue base model for 28609 basically 3,000 under MSRP. 28609 and Carvana is giving me 2880 in change for this car so the cost to make the change was basically taxes but um, it doesn't matter it's it's a negligible cost to switch colors uh, so basically what we've got is we got a stock car here completely stock these are the same spec this one's never been modified at all I didn't even bother to tint the windows it's bone stock this one is the same car with a Cobb 93 off-the-shelf tune um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a draggy run in both vehicles. And uh, the ETs are going to be tough because these are tricky cars to shift and they're geared short. But what we're going to look at is miles per hour. See what kind of gains we get between the stock car and the Cobb 93 Sage 1 tuned car. Really curious. Plus in the future maybe I'll get a, uh, a Pro Tune so we can compare that too. So basically we're going to look at miles per hour. So I'm going to do runs in both these vehicles and let's see uh, what kind of gains we got. Okay, so we're in the uh, solar orange bone stock VBWX. Uh, we're gonna see, looking mostly for miles per hour, um, just because I can't shift. These may not be valid, but they'll be done the same stretch of road, so we'll see what we get. All right. skewed number uh, you got to get into the third gear in these things to get 60 miles an hour second runs out at around I think 56 uh, plus I hit the rev limiter so let's let's just do one more one more pull here uh, one second all right so looks like we got 14.13 at a little over a hundred last time I'm pretty impressed by that uh, miles per hour uh, seems pretty strong for a 3400 pound car with 270 horsepower anyhow this is all for comparison let's do one more run um, going the other way we'll just see what we can get see if I can shift a little better get the ET in the 13s just for the hell of it even though we're going for miles per hour Okay, so now we are in the identical base model, six speed 2022 WRX. This one with a Cobb off the shelf 93 tune. Nothing else done to the car. We're gonna compare this to the numbers we got in the orange car, which is completely stock. Again, we're looking really at miles per hour, not so much at ET. Um, probably only gonna do one run. This is an off the shelf tune, but we'll see what we get.
Okay, <clears throat> so 1381 at 103.84 was the last run. We're gonna do one more. Really like to taste 104, but we'll see what we get. Um, yeah, let's go for it. Alright, so final data's in between the two cars, the tuned car, the stock car. Um, stock car ran two runs, um, best ET of 1406, best miles per hour of 100.59, and I'll post the, uh, the draggy snippets um, at the very end of the video. So, uh, average is 100 miles an hour, 99.45 and 100.59. ET is 14.06 and 14.13. Going to the tune car, uh, best ET 13.64, best miles per hour 103.84. Um, first run 13.81 at 103.84. Second run 13.64 at 102.96. Um, yeah, that's a pretty good improvement there. You're talking about basically. Eh, three and a half miles an hour between the two runs average improvement um ent improvement of we'll say three three and a half tenths so three and a half tenths three and a half miles an hour in the quarter mile now i know these aren't drag cars but uh you know it's still a pretty good improvement for a 730 thirty dollar investment and uh zero to 60 times let's see we've got the best one on the Stock car with the one foot rollout, 5.77. Um, on the tuned car, the best one with one foot rollout was, let's see, 5.3. So 5.77 to 5.3. Um, but you know, the shifts are so slow. You'll see it on the draggy reports. But, anyways, so anyone considering the access port and the off shelf tune, yeah, for a $730 investment, picking up three and a half miles per hour, three and a half tenths, um, you know, I mean, just using simple old timer math, it's probably 35 horsepower. I don't know. Uh, it might be less horsepower and more torque. They've got information on their website, but you always take it with a grain of salt. So this is real data. Um, so anybody considering it, that's what you can expect, and probably pretty soon in the future, I might consider a drunk man, 93 off the shelf, or maybe a, maybe a ProTune. But being a stock car, I'll, I'll talk to them and see if there's any advantages. And then we'll come back and we'll compare that data to the uh, off-the-shelf Cobb 93. But all right, everybody, have uh, have fun. You know, thanks for watching. I hope this uh, hope this was uh, an informative video for you. Anybody into VBWRXs or whatever? I'm not a big Subaru guy. It's just my daily, but it's a pretty fun car for the money. Uh, and uh, the 93 Octane Access Sport uh, Cobb Tune, uh, I think it's worth the money. I think it's a lot of fun. But all right, have fun, everybody.